Hi students, welcome to VTeach. In this class, we are going to discuss about wave analyzer. A wave analyzer is nothing but an instrument which is used to measure the relative amplitudes of a single frequency component in a complex waveform. Okay, it is used to measure the relative amplitudes of a signal which has only single frequency that is nothing a complex signal that is complex waveform. A complex waveform is made up of fundamental and its harmonics. Fundamental frequency will be there and harmonic frequency also will be there. Sometimes it is required to measure the amplitude of each harmonic or fundamental frequencies individually. Then we will use wave analyzer because it measures only single frequency components. A wave analyzer is also known as frequency selective voltmeter, carrier frequency voltmeter or selective level voltmeter. The basic principle of wave analyzer is that it is tuned to a frequency to the component which we require to measure. So the basic main principle is that the circuit is tuned to the frequency to which uh, the signal is to be measured. See here the uh, primary this is called as a primary detector and it is the indicating device. Here the input signal is fed here. From here to here the due to frequency the signal is transferred and it is given to the rectifier and the indicating device indicates the frequency. It consists of a primary detector which is a simple LC circuit. This is C and this is L. It is adjusted to resonance at a frequency of particular harmonic component to be measured. So this frequency is tuned or adjusted to a frequency of harmonic component which we desire to be measured. The intermediate stage of full wave rectifier, it gives the average value of the input signal. This is nothing but the rectifier circuit that is intermediate stage which gives the average value of the input signal. The indicator device, this the indicator device is a simple DC voltmeter. It calibrated to read the peak value of the sinusoidal input voltage. So the peak value of the sinusoidal input voltage is uh, uh, observed or is calculated or is indicated here in the indicating device of the input signal. The analyzer LC circuit which will pass only the frequency for which it is tuned and rejects all other frequencies. We have already told you know L and C the frequencies will be adjusted according to our desired frequency which we want to measure. So when a wave is uh, entering into it, it will allow only the frequencies which is tuned which the circuit L and C components are tuned and it will reject all other frequencies of the waveform. The tuned frequency is passed through the full wave rectifier to obtain the average value of the input. So the rectifier what it will do we have already told that it will give the average value of the input. So the full wave rectifier gives the average value of the input of the signals which is tuned in LNC circuit. The output of rectifier is directly given to DC voltmeter. It is calibrated to read the peak uh, value of the sinusoidal input wave signal. After measurement of one harmonic component, the resonance circuit is tuned to another frequency. So first uh, one harmonic comp frequency it is tuned, the signal is read and its peak value is noted. Now it is tuned to another frequency. Again signal is inputted, again another frequency peak value is noted. In this way we will uh, send each and every frequency at a time. Generally wave analyzers are divided into two categories. First one is wave se frequency selective wave analyzer for AF range. Heterodyne wave analyzer for RF range. First one is frequency selective wave analyzer. It is used for audio frequency ranges. So it acts as a frequency selective voltmeter which is tuned to the frequency of one signal component and rejects all other signal components. Same as the basic one. It is tuned to one frequency. So it allows the signal to pass only one frequency and rejects all other frequencies. So the input signal is given here. The complex waveform is analyzed and passed through the adjustable attenuator. So the complex waveform is given here that is the input signal is given. The complex waveform is allowed to pass to the attenuator and is given to driver amplifier. The attenuator permits large range of signal amplitude to be analyzed. So the amplitude which uh, we have want to uh, make it to our desired value it will uh, cut off or it will add those uh, values to the amplifier. And it will bring the desired value of the amplitude at the output of the attenuator. A driver amplitude then feeds the ampli attenuated waveform to the high Q active filter. Next, this filter section has very narrow passband that can be tuned to a desired frequency component in audio range. 
So the driver output will be given to Q coil. Here we can adjust the R and C values such that the pass bandwidth of this uh, uh, circuit can be tuned to the desired value. The frequency can be uh, adjusted to the desired value by adjusting this R and C values. The filter circuit contains a cascaded arrangement of RC resonance. Cascaded arrangement means here we saw no cascaded arrangement. Here uh, we have uh, R and C one circuit and again R and C another component. So this both are joined together. So that is nothing but cascaded arrangement. Close tolerances polystyrene capacitors are generally used for selecting the frequency ranges. Precision potentiometers are used to tune the filter and desired frequency within the selected passband. So precision potentiometers with high performance are used. Potentiometers means here nothing but here the resistance are tuned, you know, it will be changed. Variable resistances are there. These are nothing but potentiometers. So those potentiometers are used to tune the filter and to obtain the desired frequency. The selected signal is applied to the meter circuit for display. The meter is driven by averaging the readings of the rectifier type detector and has several voltage ranges as well as desired scale marked on it. So the, uh, the meter is driven by an average reading rectifier type detector and has several voltage values. But is that uh, several voltage values also have our desired voltage value also. So it is also included in it and is displayed. The selected signal is also applied to the buffer amplifier and after passing through the final amplifying stage. So the selected signal is now applied to buffer amplifier. After that it will pass to the final amplifier stage. The main function of the buffer amplifier is to drive the output device such that it record such as recorders or electronic counter. So buffer amplifiers output is given to recorders or electronic amplifiers. So the electronic or recorders take the input from the buffer amplifiers. Heterodyne wave analyzer. This is second type of wave analyzers. This is an RF range analyzer that is radio frequency range analyzer works on the principle of mixing that is heterodyning the signal hence it is known as heterodyne wave analyzer see here we have mixers first mixer second mixer so since mixing of signals is a, uh, given here that's why this is called a, a heterodyne that is mixing of signals the operator frequency range of the instrument is from 10 kilo hz to 18 mega hz this is the operating frequency of that instrument in 18 overlapping bands selected by the frequency range control of the local oscillator. The frequency range is selected from this local oscillator, frequency range and frequency tuning. So frequency is tuned to the desired value. The bandwidth is controlled by an active filter and can be selected as 200,000 and 300 hedges. So we can also select the active filter bandwidth and it can be either 200,000 or 300 hedges. The input is applied to the first attenuator section. So the first attenuator section input is applied here. We will get the output as 0 to 18 megahertz signal. The untuned amplifier this signal and gives it to the first mixer. So the untuned amplifier amplifies this signal and it will give to the first mixer. The first mixer heterodynes the input. Heterodyne means mixing. So what the first mixer will do? It will mix this signal and the signal from the oscillator and it will give to the IF amplifier. So the first mixer heterodynes the input with the frequency control from local oscillator with a range of 30 to 48 megahertz then the output of the first mixer is the difference of frequency 30 megahertz now the, it, uh, the output signal is given to IF amplifier now the IF amplifier amplifies the signals and it will give the signal to the second amplifier again the, sorry second mixer again the second mixer what it will do it will mix or heterodyne this signal with a 30 megahertz frequency crystal oscillator here we have crystal oscillator which have a frequency of 30 megahertz. So the second mixer mixes the output from IF amplifier and this 30 megahertz signal and this signal is fed back to active filter selection of 0 to 1500 hedges. This output of second amplifier mixer the zero difference frequency is obtained. The active filter having controlled bandwidth and symmetrical slopes of 42 dB uh, per octave then passes through the selected component of meter amplifier and detector. The output of the meter is detected. So now it will pass to active amplifier section, later meter amplifier and detector section. Next the signal is given to the output meter which is calibrated in volts and dBs. So the output signal of voltage and dB is 
known here. Such output form a detector may be applied to a recording device. So the output can be given to a recording device as an input. Now what are the applications of this? Wave analyzer. To measure the harmonic distortion of an amplifier, we can use this wave analyzer. That is, uh, harmonic distortion has a single frequency. Now, has different frequencies. Each harmonic frequency can be analyzed here. It can be used for separate and display of about 50 harmonics. So, each uh, 50 harmonics separately can be displayed here. To measure relative amplitude of a single frequency component in a complex waveform. So, we, in a complex waveform, we can measure single frequency also. So, see, each and every frequency can be analyzed by using this wave analyzer. To obtain phi spectrum analysis, to display various frequencies and resonances. So, we can uh, obtain display various frequencies and resonances also by using this spectrum analysis. We can obtain phi spectrum analysis to display various frequencies and resonances. To measure amplitude in presence of noise and interference signal. So, even though in presence of noise and uh, some interference disturbances, also we can measure the amplitude of the signal. To measure the signal energy with a well defined bandwidth. So, a signal ca energy can be measured even though it has, if the signal has a well defined bandwidth. To carry out complete harmonic analysis, each and every harmonic can be analyzed in this wave analyzer. So, this completes our topic on wave analyzer students. Basically, there are two types. I hope you all understood it. Thank you.